ever felt the sting of a customer slipping through your fingers? We've all been there. But what if I told you there's a way to bring your customers back to you? Emilia from Magicianly, and in today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the customer winback flow. If you want to turn those lost customers into loyal fans for your brand, keep watching. So first of all, what is a customer winback flow and why do you need it? So the goal of a customer winback flow is to re-engage your past customers who haven't purchased with your brand for a while now. So basically what you want to say to them is, hey, come back now because we have a good offer for you and you want to increase your overall customer lifetime value. Oftentimes what we see is that brands are struggling with getting their first time buyers to purchase more. And a custom winback flow can help you with that a lot. And for some brands, the customer winback flow can be a nice combo with the replenishment reminder flow. So for example, for skincare brands, you can send out a replenishment reminder flow after 30 days. And then after 60 days, you can send the customer winback flow where you'll be a little bit more aggressive to turn that first time buyer into a returning customer. And of course, you can not only use the customer winback flow to turn your first time buyers into a returning customer, but also for your returning customers to get them to buy more from your brand. So how does the customer winback flow look like? Let's dive into. So first of all, the flow filters, and these are pretty basic. So what you want to do is you want to send out this flow to people who have placed an order in the past, and you want to make sure that you have a flow filter in place where place order zero times in starting this flow. What this will do is that when someone has purchased after receiving the first email, they will drop out of your flow and they won't receive the other emails of your flow. So in general, we like to use a four part sequence for the custom webinar flow, but for some brands, it could be useful to have like a six part sequence as well. So first of all, the first email. The first thing that you have to keep in mind is the time delay. So when are you gonna send a customer winback flow? This is something that I would advise you to split test for your own brand. But in general, we like to use a 90 day time delay. But again, make sure to split test this for your own brand. And it also depends if you have a replenishment reminder in place. So for this first email, what you wanna do is basically welcome those customers back because it's been a while since they've purchased at your store. So you wanna give them a greeting welcome them back into your store and give an update on the latest developments. Again, they haven't purchased with your brand for the last, let's say 60 or 90 days. So give them a heads up on what happened. Are there any new products? Are there product improvements? Is there an improvement in the post-purchase process? Tell them and basically give them an update on your brand. Also, we like to give a small discount in this first email and make sure to use urgency with, for example, a 48 hour time sequence where this discount is available. Then for the second email, you want to send this email one day after people have received the first email. Lastly, with this email, you want to use a lot of urgency because in email one, you've given them a 48 hour deadline. So now they only have 24 hours left to make use of their special discount that you gave them in the first email. So make sure to use a lot of urgency, mention the fact they only have 24 hours left and also give them some product recommendations based on the purchase that they've done before. So these can be your best sellers, these can be new arrivals, but it can also be a specific recommendation based on the order that they've done before with your store. Then email three. First of all, the time delay. So in general, we like to use a seven day time delay. So seven days after sending and receiving email two, you wanna send email three. But again, split test this for your own brand. Because for some brands, we've seen better results with 14 days or even a month later, but for some brands, we see better results with seven days or even shorter. Data is king, so always please test this for your own brand. So what we wanna do with this email is offer a higher discount. So we already gave them a discount in emails one and two. So we wanna give a higher discount now to get them back to your store and turn those first time buyers into returning customers or your returning customers into repeat purchases. So you wanna give a higher discount or use a different kind of discount. So for example, in the first email you gave a percentage off and now you could give a dollar amount off or a free product when they buy X. Again, you wanna give product recommendations as well. So again, these could be your best sellers, new arrivals or specific recommendations based on the order they've done before. And for your fourth email, you wanna send this email again one day later after they've received email three. And now you want to give them a urgency deadline with just 24 hours left before their higher discount is expiring. So use a lot of urgency and again, product recommendations and also a good thing to implement and show is social proof because after receiving three emails, it could be 
that are not completely convinced of your brand, and adding in some social proof can definitely help with that. So this is the four part sequence that we like to use. Again, what you could do is turn this into a six part sequence where in the first two emails, you're not using a discount. You start using a little discount in email three, and then from there you can build up a six part sequence. Or what you could do is make a six part sequence where after email four, you can send them another email with an even higher discount. These are all things that you can A-B test for your own brand. But in general, we like to stick to this four part sequence, especially if you also have a replenishment reminder in place. Then I have two pro tips to share with you. The first tip is to make a split based on the amount of times people have purchased at your store. So you might want to give a different discount to people who have only purchased once at your store compared to people who have purchased multiple times at your store. So split based on first time buyers and returning customers. And the second pro tip is use SMS. So incorporate text messages in your customer with flow. We've seen some great results with that and it builds that personal connection with people and it definitely adds value next to the email messages that you're sending out. So here are two examples that I want to show to you. So in here you can see an email where they're saying, we miss you, come back to us and say 50% off your next munch pack. So um, yeah, they're starting with a big discount at first with a personalized discount code, our best discount to date, offer expires in 48 hours. So they're using a high discount in this case and they're using some urgency where the offer expires in 48 hours. So this is a good strategy that you can use as well. And a second example, what you see in here um, is we miss you, come back to the club. So how it's been, uh, so how it's been going, we're good, just been keeping really busy, et cetera, et cetera. So they're trying to build a personal connection and basically saying we miss you, come back. And uh, there's an angle that might use well for your brand as well, especially for like subscription based um, brands, they can use this kind of things as well uh, because we've seen some great results by using something like this without having to use a discount immediately. So these are just two simple examples of a customer win back flow email and um, yeah, this is the sequence that we like to use for the customer win back flow. Remember, every customer you win back is not just a boost in revenue, but it's a way to create loyal fans for your brand and to increase your overall customer lifetime value. Implement the strategies that I've just shown you and watch how those customers head back to your store and purchase new items. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button underneath this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos on email marketing, SMS marketing and e-commerce in general. And do me a favor and let other people know about this channel and let me know what kind of videos you would like to see next in the upcoming weeks and months ahead. I'll do my best to make the videos you want to see me create. I hope to speak to you soon in the next video.